In a previous video, I've shown you how to publish a library within Foundry. You can find that video in the description below. Now, let me show you how you can actually pick up this library, consume it within your Python repositories, so that you can take advantage of publishing code to reuse across multiple different places. Previously, we extracted this line of code into the Evasion Cleaning Library. We got it from the Flight Control System here. We can search this file to see where this function is being used. We hit Ctrl F and copy paste the common name. Here we can see the function being applied. Now, instead of using the function that we already have in this file, let's use the one in the libraries we previously created. We go to the Libraries tab and can search for the Aviation Cleaning Library by hitting Aviation. It quickly shows up, we click on it. However, the Add Library button is uh, disabled. This is because master is locked. Let's create a branch so that we can add this library. Let's call it Consume Aviation Library. We hit Create. And the button is now enabled. We can click on it and the library has been added. We can see on the left that the meta YAML has been edited because it's yellow. And we can confirm that on line 23, the library is now present. We can commit it and the library has now been added. We can now include the function from the library. We remember that the root package was called cleaner. So we import from cleaner function, import data asset pass flattener. We also now need to remove these lines of code, otherwise they will collide. And we have now imported our function from the library. We can commit again, go to the checks, and wait for them to run. Now that the checks have run, we see that they have failed. We can scroll up through the log messages and see that there is an error message. It says that the library that we had created requires Python 3.8, but it is not available in this project. We can go back to our code into the meta YAML, and we confirm that actually the Python that we're using is Python 3.6. So there's newer Python versions. So let's upgrade it to Python 3.8. We can delete this and put 3.8, print star. We can commit again. Go back to the checks. And wait. While we wait, you can read the log messages, which I'm showing to you here, that uh, contain the multiple steps that uh, exist during the CI. Normally during these videos, I've been jumping you to the end of the CI. However, I would like you to take some time on this one, because whenever we change Conda YAML, or whenever we change Python dependencies, this can affect the time that your CI checks take. Whenever we change the meta YAML, we need to let Conda re-resolve the package dependency tree, and that can take time. So if you're ever faced with very long CI checks, Try start by looking at your Conda Recip and see if you can pin down some versions. Now that uh, the CI has passed, we're pretty much done. We can go back to our code and confirm that no errors show up in our file, but we have imported our library. So thank you for listening in and see you in the next video.